Now, Daisy, you know we not only rule the Monongahela, the Allegheny, and the Ohio, but now Fan Nation rules the muddy waters of the greatest river in America. It's been the uh, only operational Steeler houseboat on the Mississippi River that I know of. I became a Steeler fan by watching the Steelers back when I was a kid with my pop, so I just kind of carried that tradition forward. I'm kind of an old country boy. I have the Mississippi River out right in my backyard. Noticed all the people at the Memphis Shot Club all had a great big houseboat, so I bought me a great big houseboat too. It's a 1988 50-foot Gibson houseboat. It's black and Steeler gold, and that's actually a registered color, so we found the paint to match that. The name of the boat is Steel Dreaming. Kind of a play on words to include the Steelers as well. I've always been kind of a guy that gets lost in his own imagination a little bit. Everybody has Port of Memphis on their big boats. I have Port of Heinz Field on mine. We have coolers of adult beverages and barbecue grills going. So it's it's kind of a waterborne tailgate and it's kind of been famous since then. I've had a lot of people just come down to the marina just to see the, the boat itself. I'm a member of a Steeler group. We call ourselves the A3 guys, and we always go and spend a couple of days in the summertime in Pittsburgh. For a big city like Pittsburgh is, I've never felt that I wasn't welcome there, even though I don't talk quite like y'all talk, and, and I might be a little bit different, but it almost really does feel like a, a, a second home, and Steeler football is about as much what happens in the parking lot between people as anything that happens on that green grass. No matter where you go, you're gonna run into Steeler fans and whether you got a six pack and a sandwich or not, they're, they're gonna make sure you get one.